Hey, I just wanted to make a quick video on this uh, Boss singled in 10.1 inch touchscreen. It's the uh, BCPA 10. A um, couple things I just, you know, I bought it. I watched quite a bit of videos on it and didn't see too many cons. And I just wanted to make uh, my own video the cons that I have. I've owned it for about two months. It's in my daily driver, it's in a diesel. So, I mean, diesel's running right now. The screen is uh, not shaking or anything crazy. If it looks shaky, it's just me. But um, overall, would I buy this again? Yes, I'm probably gonna buy some other ones for my other vehicles. Is there problems with it? Yes. Um, the biggest thing I've noticed, well, it depends on what you consider the biggest. Uh, the time is not proper. Like, I, every time I set it, I don't know, a week goes by and it gets a minute, two minutes, three minutes slower. It starts to slow down and not read the true time. So that's one thing I really don't care for is that I've reset the time, I don't know how many times in the past two months, but uh, it's been a couple times. Other things, uh, right when I got it, I don't know, the first day that I was using it somewhere in there, uh, the sound just quit working, you know, I was trying to uh, sync up to Bluetooth, try to use the tuner, Android Auto, everything was syncing properly and showing that I was playing music, just no sound was coming out. And the first 30 minutes after install, everything was working great. And uh, I knew it wasn't a wiring issue. I did a real good job on that. So I'm like, what the fuck? Um, I contact boss and they say, you know, try resetting it. There's a reset button. This is handy information if you own one of these or looking to. There's a reset button somewhere in here. You got to use a pen, something small, but uh, you can reset it. I reset it. I had to do all my settings again, but uh, it worked. So I was like, cool. And then uh, a couple days later, I was going through the ATM. Again, this is a loud 7.3 diesel, if you know anything about them. I was turning it on and off as I'm going through the drive through at the ATM. Uh, long story short, a bunch of key cycles later, the stereo wouldn't turn on, would not turn on, nothing. I couldn't get anything. Press that reset button, snapped right back to life. It's been about a month since I've had any issues where I've had to actually completely reset the system, but I figured that's worth noting, you know. Um, it's got some type of problems. It's got a year warranty through Boss, so I'm honestly hoping it just kind of fails if it's gonna fail so I get a new one in the next year. But um, anyways, I just wanted to make a quick video. Uh, it was $2.95 at walmart.com when I got it. Came with a backup camera. I've yet to install that because I am lazy. Um, anyways, good deal if you ask me. I'll probably buy some more. Um, but there is some problems with that. So boss, I doubt it. But if you watch this, fix that stuff, man. You got such a killer stereo for the price. Um, the dim, it dims nicely when the lights are on. The green matches, it's hard to see, but matches my green interior lights. It, it's cool. Um, I, I dig the stereo. I just wish that those problems didn't ever happen because this would be, you know, the best deal in the century. All the other things like this, you know, you want singled in but touch screen, you're, you're spending like a thousand plus dollars. So at the price point at around $300, even with these cons, I feel like it is worth it. I hope I don't have to reset it every three or four months. But if I do, I mean, it was so cheap. I just, I, I can't really complain too much. Anyways, wanted to keep this short. Just make a little video on my experience at about two months of owning this thing. And yeah, hope this helps you.